The AR26 Axis Robot is a project that I initially started as a way to not only teach myself robot kinematics and build a hobby robot, but I've also had an interest in seeing if there's a way to build a usable robot that anybody could afford to build. Um, it's frustrating. Most commercial robots are in the neighborhood of ten dollars to $30,000 and out of reach for most of us. Um, I designed this robot to be able to be built from 3D printed components or from machined aluminum. Um, after I first made this robot and published the first couple of videos, I received so much interest and feedback that uh, I decided to make the print files and software open source. And I also created a complete set of manuals to build the robot. Um, I've had hundreds of people build the AR2 robot and received feedback from numerous people building the robot, uh, not only for hobby purposes for themselves and for projects to build with their kids. Um, I've had a lot of people build this robot to remove parts from printers, um, from mills and lathes, but I think the most exciting part of this project is to see the number of schools that are using this project for educational purposes and getting to see the feedback and the pictures of students building this robot and learning from this project. Not only can anyone print the structural components at home on their 3D printer, but also all the components that are listed in the Bill of Materials can be sourced from places like Amazon or AliExpress. Um, the stepper motors and drivers are all available from Stepper Online. The AR2 robot has been tested through many thousands of cycles and it's repeatable to within 0.7 millimeters. Um, the total reach of the robot is 23 centimeters or 25 inches and the robot can lift just over four pounds when made from aluminum. Um, this solid block of brass the robot is lifting weighs 1.9 kilograms. The AR2 robot also has functionality built in for a self-calibration routine. The robot will run to each of its full limits and then retract off of those limits and then come back onto them slowly and calibrate the robot's position for an accurate calibration. Functionality has also been built into the software to be able to use a wireless Xbox controller. From this controller you can jog the robot in multiple directions. You can also control um, the grip are open and close, and you can teach positions directly into the program using the Xbox controller. The AR2 software is a fully functional software package where you can teach a program into the panel you see on the left there and run through the program, and the cursor will run through the program as it's executing. You can teach multiple position types, you can have wait times, um, you can wait for inputs to come on and off. There's full program navigation for calling programs and running different programs. Um, there's also a calibration tab where we have all the Denovit Hartenberg parameters and all the ability to calibrate the robot, including uh, executing a fine calibration position. There's also an input output tab, which gives you the ability to open and close grippers, control servos and turn various inputs out uh, on and off. And then there's also a register tab where you can use registers for counting and also uh, position registers for being able to manipulate robot positions for stacking blocks and those types of things. And we also have uh, limited vision functionality. You can use some open source vision software to be able to have the robot pick and place parts based on the found position. The enclosure for the AR2 robot is fairly simple to make. It includes drivers for the stepper motors as well as an Arduino. Uh, power supply and all the connectors to connect it to the robot. In this clip here we see the robot picking up dice from a row and then placing them into two rows of three. This is done with just two top positions. All the rest of the positions are incremented from stored positions so the robot will move X amount of millimeters for each pickup and then move X amount of millimeters um, in the X and Y directions for the placement of each of the dice in the two rows. The AR2 design and software have been built to support a 7th axis travel track. In this clip here we can see the robot moving back and forth along the track. 
The track could be built to any length you want, and the software supports calibration to calibrate the track for any length that you want. The um, track position is built into the robot's position, so when you teach a robot position, it also will run the track to the position that you've taught. In this clip here, we see the robot stacking blocks in combination with using the travel track. Again, this is just two top positions uh, using stored position offsets. The robot will pick up the blocks um, being offset in the X direction for where each block sits on the table there. And then it will pick up the block and carry it to the other end of the table and then offset the set position in the Z direction for the stack height. So all of the uh, positions where the block is set are all based on the original taut set down position. The AR2 robot also has functionality built in for vision pickup. The robot interfaces with some open source software to pass the robot a X and Y position for pickup. So you can see here in this video, each time a uh, nut is placed in the field of view, the uh, camera, which is just an inexpensive webcam, will find the position of the nut. Uh, it will find a calibrated X and Y position in the field of view and send that to the robot. The software is set up to wait for a, a part to show up in the field of view. So um, as you can see here, each time you place a part in the field of view, the robot will go pick it up. And you can place multiple parts in the field of view. And the robot will be able to um, find the one that scores the highest and pick it up first. And then um, continue to pick up the remaining parts that are in the field of view. And then it will wait for more parts to be placed in the field of view before doing anything. The manuals for the AR2 robot have pictures with complete instructions on every step of the assembly process, every step of building the electrical enclosure, include, including how to make all of the electrical connections, um, where to make all the electrical connections. There's um, instructions on a wiring harness, what all the lengths need to be, how to assemble the wiring harness, a uh, manual on the electrical enclosure, where to place all the components in the enclosure, and how to put the entire system together, um, all of the dip switch settings, and um, there's also a manual on the travel track and how to build the travel track, as well as the schematic for the robot. There's a link in the description for the Annan Robotics website where you can find tutorials, um, downloads, robot kits. There's also a forum and a blog on there. Um, if you go to the uh, downloads tab, you'll find that you can download not only the software um, in a simple executable, but you can also get the source code. Um, you can download the uh, software for the Arduino, the Arduino sketch. Um, there's also all of the 3D print files to make the robot, as well as all of the different manuals for assembling the robot. And that's all open source. It's all free. You can download it anytime you want. Um, there's also a tab for robot kits. So if you wanted to build the AR2 robot out of aluminum, you could purchase an aluminum kit there. And all of the uh, hardware components, I list all those on the bill of materials so you can source them from anybody you want. But it's kind of a pain to uh, get all like the little screws and everything. So I also, uh, a lot of people have asked me to provide a hardware kit, so I did that. There's a hardware kit you can purchase on there. And there's also a link to Stepper Online where you can purchase all of the stepper motors and drivers in one single package. I hope everybody enjoys the project and gets a lot of value out of it. Please uh, message me if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.